a story you'll see only on ABC News 4. We received an anonymous tip alerting us to staffing shortages at Dorchester County EMS. We were told response times to emergencies are running well over the target of nine minutes. Dorchester County leaders told us today there's no denying it. There is a staff shortage. They spoke with our Ann Emerson about the solutions they're trying to come up with now. Absolutely. The director of Dorchester's EMS says they are trying to mitigate the staffing issue now with more part time and overtime personnel. But there's a lot more in the works, including a raise based on a classification and compensation study. Now we're also looking even now before it's implemented, we're already looking at is this enough to um, to keep people and to hire and recruit additional people. Councilman Chinnis agrees. Seriously, absolutely. Um, that there, there's no question about that. Is this something that that we go back and look at when it's brought to our attention? I, I will also assure you of that because I think this was just brought to attention after after our budgets were approved. Chinna sits on the Public Safety Committee for Dorchester. He says this is not a single issue. The council used millage money to lower shifts from 24 to 12 hour shifts. Also, he points out every truck has a paramedic and an EMT on board and the trucks they use are excellent. Making certain that every one of our trucks had lifts on them to get those those um, those gurneys into those trucks without injuring our paramedics. That, that, that ain't free. <laughs> that, that's not an automatic. I think that there is more work to be done, and I don't think that um, we're through with this by any means. Working for you, Ann Emerson, ABC News 4.